Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, it begins. This man is definitely going to have his work cut out for him. Mr. Uh, Sheen Wolf. I'm actually kind of scared to see what's about to pop off. Because as of now, I'm pretty sure we all know that whoever gets, you know, whoever gets in the way of these two characters that we have just learned the most about. I mean, we've already known a lot about Sheen, but learning a lot about Oliver this week was pretty interesting. I was, I was kind of worried that they weren't going to do this in some kind of capacity just because it felt like... With 10 episodes and there's only 12, I felt like we were just going to hear the bad guy monologue about his uh, backstory whenever the two characters met up and that was about it. So I'm glad they're not doing it that way. That would have been kind of just, I felt like, a waste of potential for, you know, the the main bad guy to actually get some sympathy out of all this. He literally comes off looking like not even that bad of a guy anymore so <clears throat> that's how powerful backstories can be is whenever you see them you're kind of like wait i gotta root against this guy now like this this sucks i mean sure the kingdom or like the the place that shin's been staying at literally is like the same place that um you know is one of the places that he's very fed up with and wants to see down so because of that it's like man he wants he wants something done about all these people who you know were mistre mistreating their powers and stuff but because there's someone so powerful in the world like Sheen his power is like getting it's about to get dwarfed you know like it looks almost as if he's lost a bit of power too just to be fair like he's gone uh, he's gone like crazy crazy mad with power and like wiped out a crap ton of people all that one time and then you know he comes to this capital and he doesn't use like that same power just to wipe out as much as the uh, the kingdom eardrum when he had to face off with Shin you know he didn't use it beforehand or maybe so maybe he was just cocky and knew nobody would should be on his level to stop him I'm not sure but <clears throat> overall it just felt like he definitely either is weaker than he was in his in his beginning or Shin is so strong that because he was there he made all of his attacks focused on him and when they were focused they had no type of actual like destruction towards everything compared to just being destruction towards Shin so very, very interesting uh, backstory for him. Seeing his wife get taken out by the same people he let in was pretty dark. Um, not only that, we pretty much just know how much he deserves to destroy these people for what they've done. But uh, he's already done that. So now it's coming down to his actual people being in the case of like, oh, well, if he has nothing to do, then that means we had nothing to do. And we should make them have something to do. So now that they're going on the offensive, I'm pretty sure a lot of these demonoids that actually stayed are going to lose their lives against Shin. And, you know, the guy with the glasses doesn't really care. I mean, the only way to get your boss to get moving is to straight up force a whole bunch of demonoids into a battle with someone much stronger than your boss, supposedly already, who's been... The one thing that, you know, everybody knows about Shin right now is he sent Oliver away and, and Oliver is stronger than every single person that is under him. So what chance do they have to stopping or winning a battle that they know is going to involve sh the that kid in it, you know? So <clears throat> literally throwing their own life away just to get their boss to start fighting again. So... Yeah, we're we're in a very interesting part of this anime, I believe. So, someone's about to get bodied, and I think we all know who, uh, Mister I believe in you, sending that kid out there to go attack is about to get absolutely bodied. 
um, so either that or he's gonna he's gonna put on a decent show when it comes down to actually beating some of our ultimate magicians that were just named this week. So that's the other thing I'm really interested in is seeing what Shin actually does. I mean, from what they did to the that one demon tiger or whatever. It's clear to me that he knows for a fact that they can do some damage, you know, like they're not utterly useless or something like that. So he just needs them to be confident in themselves and actually use their abilities to their fullest. Don't like not being scared and pretty much putting their guards down or something like that. And I feel like that's what's going to happen at the beginning. And then the demonoids are probably going to start stepping up a little bit like there's there's got to be some rank to them, you know, like, they shouldn't all be at the same power level, I feel, I feel like someone should be stronger than the others, like, for instance, the girl and the guy who are the guys, uh, who's Oliver's left hand and right hand, pretty much, I'm pretty sure they're much, much stronger than any of the other demons, um, and if not, we're gonna learn that real soon, so, if they're all the same strength and they're all just ridiculously powerful and they are same level, that's crazy. So, I don't know. I feel like they could do anything with this right now and then just let Sheen come in and slap everybody. So, it's almost as if if you make any type of prediction, your should, prediction should be that our main character is going to slap everybody if anything goes wrong. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening. I was trying to think of what more I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh... Oh yeah, E3 and stuff, I was actually kind of disappointed in a lot of what came out, because not only did I already know about a lot of it, everything was leaked, like, this was just the year of the leakers, like, who cares about what you guys can dig up and stuff if it ruins the whole entire, like, showcase at hand, just because you guys wanted to be the first ones to talk about something, now everybody suffers from knowing it's just like imagine if everybody knew iron man said i am iron man like even iron man didn't know he was going to say that line that's probably why it was so much more powerful to him so take that in uh if you really do not like being spoiled by stuff leaks are the biggest spoilers ever once they come true i mean i was looking forward to the tales game and then when I actually saw what the Tales game had to show, which wasn't a lot, it was practically the same pictures we saw, but in movement, because that's all they actually had to show. So now we already know what the game looked like, how uh, most of the stuff was going to play out, and it just felt lackluster. So, well, to me anyway, some people can still act surprised even when they already know what's coming, how it's coming, what should be coming next, and that and that and that. You know, because sometimes you have to look at your content before putting it out, make sure it's actually suitable for everybody. And then while you find that out, you then act as if you didn't do it in the first place. I've seen these things, and that's why I like to watch my animes and not read anything, because it would just ruin my reaction and ruin how I can actually tell you how I felt and stuff like that. So, with all that being said... That's just how I feel, and if you don't enjoy that part about my channel, I truly apologize for being myself. And I'll try to work on being a zombie or whatever you guys want me to be in the future. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome one. I'm the Anime J, and I'm looking forward to a lot of these new animes coming up and showing their stuff too, because, boy, all these shows are coming to an end. Even Shield Heroes about to come to an end, which is pretty crazy, so... It's all ending relatively the same time, so it's time to just see what they all got in store for us. I mean, a lot of these shows have already proven that their, their action, their storytelling is very up there, but now if they're actually going to end the shows, I want a good book ending for these things. Or if they're going to give us more seasons, I want to know that the seasons are coming not, oh, I hope they do it because they left it so open-ended and I can't tell what the heck they wanted out of all of this, you know? Like, it's just, that's not fun for me, but it is for some people and I won't take that away from y'all. So, I hope you guys have an awesome one and I'm about to finish this mission. Let's get it.
Nobunaga, Otsa. My God. Drop the swords on him. Dropping swords on him? Yeah, we dropping swords on him. <laughs>